Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing a 2022 Honda Ridgeline to a 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. This is the comparison we have all been waiting for. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. Check out that inventory link below. Let's get right into the video. So let's pop under the hoods of both of these pickup truck SUV things. First off, starting with the Santa Cruz, we have a turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder, goes through an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission, good for 19 around town and then 27 on the highway from a fuel economy perspective. Power outputs are 281 horsepower and then 311 pound feet of torque. Now popping over to the Ridgeline, we have a Natchi aspirated 3.5 liter V6, goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. It's good for 18 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 280 horsepower and then 262 pound feet of torque. Me. So first off, sorry about my shadow, it's just that time of the day. Secondly, let's go over the front ends of both of these trucks. So starting over here with the Santa Cruz, I definitely like the front end styling on this truck. You've got the nice body lines there on the hood that are accented by all of the black on this particular truck. And then notice that we've got the LED accent lights. So all of these right here are all LED accent lights. And then you have the grill that matches the accent lights. Got that good old front camera right there. And then you have the headlights here off to the side. And yeah, overall, I think the front end styling on the Santa Cruz is definitely nice. Got that futuristic look. Now popping over here to the Ridgeline, you can see that this paint color really shows off the body lines on the Ridgeline. And I love how it connects from the hood down to there. I think that that's a really sharp look. Um, and then you've got the projector bulbs there for the lights themselves. And it's kind of more of a traditional setup rather than that having the headlights down lower. Got the Honda logo there on the grill. It also doubles as a sensor. And then you guys can see the turn signals are kind of there on the lower portion. And then we've got the fog lights here off to the side a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is the front ends on both of the trucks. Now coming to the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels on the Honda, two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels on the Hyundai. So a little bit of a different tire and wheel setup, right? The width is the same, but you've got a lot less sidewall here, a lot more wheel action. The design there is definitely intricate, definitely good looking. And then you guys can see here over on the ridge line, I think the wheels look fantastic. You guys know I definitely prefer to have a beefier tire like what the ridge line has, where it's got a little bit more sidewall. It's gonna give you a smoother ride quality. And then here notice with the plastic molding for the fender flare and then all along the side. And then you guys can see the side step as well and then you can see here with the mirror how that is two-tone and look at the flake here in the sun the paint color is amazing now popping over here again we've got the side molding which has the little santa cruz there uh, goes all the way down the side and then here for the mirror and you guys can see here on the back notice how it kind of bulges out there whereas the ridge line is a little bit more flat so that's kind of like a little bit more traditional truck like if that makes sense um, and then something i like about both trucks is they both have wheelhouse liners. So you guys can see here in the rear, both of them have wheelhouse liners, which is nice. And before you guys ask, the reason the Santa Cruz is so dirty is I just took it off-road. I wasn't expecting to do this comparison, but thanks Stockton 12 Honda for having this Ridgeline because now I can compare these trucks even though that truck's horribly dirty. So here are key fobs, which are kind of mixed up. So this is the Santa Cruz key fob, and then that is the Ridgeline key fob. And you guys can see the functions in them. So they both have remote start. The Santa Cruz does have the drop down for the tailgate, which is definitely a nice uh, feature. Whereas on the Ridgeline, it's just a traditional truck tailgate, which this one has a tunnel cover, so you kind of have to pull a little bit. Um, so you do have to like let it down yourself. Uh, if you let it just like fall down by itself and not hold it with your arm, then obviously it'll come crashing. But anyways. 1,477 pounds of payload, 1,411 pounds of payload. They both have tonneau covers, um, but obviously the Ridgeline has a little bit more of a, well, a higher payload, but let's pop into the beds. So popping in the bed of the Santa Cruz, and sorry about the sunlight right there. You can see it's absolutely dirty from the off-roading, pretty bad stuff, but notice that we've got the extra storage space right there. And you guys can see it's a pretty small sized uh, bed, especially compared to the ridge line, which we will see in just a moment. Uh, one thing that is a positive is with this tonneau cover, it's just a slide one. So you can just throw it, which I didn't push it very hard, but I didn't want to have to pull it back too much. Um, but yeah, you just throw it, which is definitely nice and easy. And also that's light. 
popping over the ridge line it is a tri-fold so you have to do a little bit more to get the tunnel cover open but it's not difficult by any means and then notice again we've got a lot more space here in the bed because it's a longer vehicle and also the other thing that the ridge line does that the santa cruz does not haha -ha, we have the door tailgate and on top of that Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I was looking, I, I literally just did the Hyundai, which is over on the opposite side of the ridge line. But anyways, the storage space here is so much bigger. Like, look how much storage space you have there. It's a lot larger, it goes in way deeper. So just more practical. And yes, you can open this up even when you have the tonneau cover closed because, well, practicality and Honda's all about that. And then covering all the same. And well, wow, that was a lot. Now let's finish things up here with the rear. So over here on the Santa Cruz, we can tow 5,000 pounds. And guess what? We can also tow 5,000 pounds over here on the ridge line. So that is all the same. And since the lighting's a little bit nice on the ridge line, let's finish things up. So here's a quick look at the taillights. And then you got all the logos. I love the dual exhaust tips here at the bottom. And then you also got the receiver hitch. And then popping over here to the Santa Cruz, notice that the exhaust tip is kind of hidden down there at the bottom but we do get these bumper steps which is definitely nice and practical the taillights uh <laughs> pretty crazy looking you guys can see that but yeah there's everything for the rest of the rear now let's pop into the rears of both of the trucks starting over here with the ridge line we also got really nice padding here with the stitching that goes across got our good old-fashioned cup holder and then it also gives you instructions on the seat with how to fold that forward and then here are the seats nice leather perfect leather goes all the way down the center and you guys can see a couple of cup holders and then you've got the vents right there in that little area um, and if you guys are wondering legroom headroom great i've noticed that they're about the same between the two trucks in terms of the legroom this has a little bit less headroom um, but the legroom is about the same anyways so yeah now popping over here notice again we got the nice leather padding here we got cloth trim up above and then you got a bunch of piano black trim got a cup holder wow it's almost like they kind of copied the ridge line in a sense just saying and then here's the seat notice perforated leather we have my uh, cleaning kit that i obviously didn't use before this review because well the truck is filthy but notice we got the perforated leather down below and then like i said legroom seems like it's about the same got some vents got some usbs and bye bye now here's the door panel at the front. So again, notice we've got the leather padding with the stitching. Got all the window controls, automatic windows for the front. And then the memory seat function, that's for the gas cap release. And then there's the mirror. Here's the front seat again, full leather, perfect leather, all the way down the center. And let's hop in. Hello, Ridgeline. So notice that we've got the steering wheel with full leather all around. And then you've got these controls for like the radio and then we've got our phone controls down below got our cruise control this has the steering assistance adaptive cruise control paddles there for that nine speed automatic got your light slash turn signal stock and then you guys can see here with the center screen what that looks like there is an econ mode boom boom just like your good fuel economy mode and then we've got our drive modes normal snow mud sand you can go through notice intelligent traction management fancy word for the uh stuff the all-wheel drive system does that is pretty fun and fantastic and then we've got the center infotainment system you can see that we've got the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and then you guys can see the different viewpoints with that and then when you pop it into drive it just pops with the uh, infotainment system itself now as for the rest of the screen response time with the screen is great they have a bunch of pages that you can put apps on got the home screen button which will always take you back and i think it's great overall We've got our analog controls for the climate system. It's got dual zone climate here, which is great. We have heated seats here for the front. We have our little charging area here and then some storage there. A couple cup holders. We have our transmission selector, the drive mode select, auto stop start. And then we have our center console, which is nice and comfortable. And notice that we have some more charging ports inside of there. Love the trim here on the outside. And then we got the glove box. And then you guys can see we've got stitching here at the top, which is definitely nice. And wait for it, we have a sunroof. Wow. And we have a power, whoops, I clicked it the wrong way. Power sliding rear window. The other one's the control for the sunroof. Lighter colored headliner. Let's head to the Santa Cruz. Now here's the door panel at the front of the Santa Cruz. Notice we've got the really nice trim right there. And then the cloth and then the leather. Got all of our window controls, mirror adjustments. There's a look at the mirror itself. 
And then here's the seat at the front. So again, got the leather with the perforated leather, all that fun stuff. Let's pop in. Do, do, do. And you can see you've got a really nice steering wheel with leather all around. Paddle shifters there on the back. Cruise control with steering assistance and volume control and voice command controls. And again, it's almost like it's the same truck, but with a different manufacturer logo in the center. Notice we've got the turn signal, light stock, windshield wiper stock, and we have the full digital gauge cluster right here, which again has menus you can scroll through. I'll go through the drive modes though, because that's the fun part. So notice we have a snow, smart, sport. Looks pretty cool. Back to the normal mode right there. So that is all fun and dandy. And you guys can see here with the center infotainment system, we got a backup camera. We got different viewpoints here with the camera side view. And then if we pop into drive, notice we got the front camera and there is also a camera button that I can press. And notice that that pops up with the uh, camera system as well with the different viewpoints. So yeah, it's all from a camera perspective. Infotainment system response time is great. It's nicely integrated into the dash and gets the job done. We've got analog controls down below for the infotainment system. Dual zone climate yet again. We've got all of our USBs charging area. This does have a wireless phone charger shifter for that eight speed automatic. That's a dual clutch. We have a locker, auto hold, hill descent control. That's for the camera. That's for the parking brake. That's the drive mode select. Couple cup holders, heated cooled seats here for the front, heated steering wheel as well. We've got a center console that uh, has my wallet and uh, iWatch charger. Yes, iWatch, that's what it was. But notice here is the glove box and then we've got the cloth trim right along here. And then notice how that all connects. That looks very nice. And then guess what? We have a sunroof yet again, but we do not have a power sliding window. It is manual for the operation. Wah, wah, wah. Now let's get into pricing with both of the trucks. $44,000 for the sticker price, $41,000 for the sticker price. So there's about a $3,000 price difference between both of the trucks. Now I want you guys in the comment section down below to pick a winner. Obviously these aren't completely comparable, but as you guys can see, the Santa Cruz is quite a bit smaller than the Ridgeline. But again, they have similar horsepower figures. They have similar towing capacity, payload capacity. They're both SUV truck things that are unibody. And so, yeah, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if you'd rather have the Santa Cruz or the Ridgeline and why. And that's the comparison. Now let's get some things up for our comparison between this 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz and this 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTL. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with the Ridgeline. Check out their inventory link below. I will see all of you in the next video.